morning vlogmas welcome to vlogmas i cannot believe that there are like six days so christmas christmas is saturday it's monday that's so crazy it makes me so sad i was listening to this song this song also can we just appreciate this latte art i'm getting so much better <laughs> it's always a hit or miss though still like sometimes i'll just be like this it depends on how i steam my how my milk is steamed like it's all about well i would say it's like 75 percent texture of the milk and 25% technique of pouring it. Well, maybe it's 50-50 because if you screw up one or the other, you know, it's not really going to work out. Anyway, I was listening to this song yesterday and it was like, I should probably talk quietly and go sit over there because everyone is still sleeping and I'm going to enjoy the silence because it don't happen often. But I was saying that I was listening to this song yesterday and it was saying, it was called December 26th and I was like, December 26th must be the worst day of the year <laughs> and it goes down to explain why it's like you can be Dressed in red and green all you want. You can keep your mistletoe. But it's like once Christmas is over Unfortunately, it's just not the same like I still keep up our tree because we are originally from Belarus so in Europe Eastern Europe um, They'll celebrate Christmas January 7th and my parents still kind of like commemorate that so we just I don't know, as kids, that's just something that we've always done. So I just kind of like keep my tree till January 7th. And then once January 7th hits, we'll put it away. But it's just so sad. It's so bittersweet. But today is Monday. I hope everyone is having a wonderful start to the week. I'm going to let everybody sleep. And I'm going to sit here. And I actually have some stuff to catch up on for like this class I signed up for. It's like nothing fancy. I don't want to get into it. But... Um, every Monday we have a Zoom call for that, so I just want to catch up on content for that while it's nice and quiet. Oh, I did my nails yesterday. They are this super cool, I've had this nail polish set for probably two years, three years, and I've done them before. They're from the brand Modelones, I say Modelones, Model Ones on Amazon. I bought their poly gel kit in the before, and I got this gel color changing gel polish is basically like this it's a very like fuchsia red especially right now with the lighting it looks very fuchsia colored and then when it gets warm it changes color to like an invisible clear it does have like glitter chunks in it and i added a matte top coat i think it looks super cool like perfect for christmas my friend lisa did her nails red and totally inspired by that this red is definitely more of like a pinky red but super fun for the holidays kids would like love this like color changing gel polishes i've done it for my kids so many times in the past they were just like obsessed with the color changing gel i'm gonna make potato pancakes for breakfast and it's best to be done on like a food processor but we don't have or like a big blender this is the biggest blender that we have you can shred it using um like a grater or grate it using a grater, kind of like hash brown versions, but that just requires a lot of arm work. So blending it is probably the best way, and I'm just going to do it in sections because this is, or like batches, because this is the biggest blender that we have. Just add some water in here and kind of like puree the potatoes. Everybody likes their potato pancakes, like a different consistency. Some people like more like a shredded hash brown, some people like more of a puree. This is going to be more like a puree version. I got the uh, pureed potatoes here and they do brown quickly so I'm just going to work quick. I'm going to add the onion and I'm going to grate it really really fine. It just adds a lot of nice flavor. You could add whatever seasonings we like salt, pepper, vigieta is one of our favorites. And then one egg and some flour. I'll add a recipe that's very very easy to follow. I don't follow this to the T just because this was kind of like a childhood thing that my mom has been making us since you know we were kids. But this recipe right here I would say is very very good and very easy, super easy to follow. took off my eye makeup and decided I'm gonna do my lashes after all I was gonna do I've been meaning to do like the little tiny lash fans 
using our dull lash tight i love the outcome it can be very tedious and you do have to kind of like know what you're doing to work with our dull lash tight but i forgot i had this joy beauty box sadly though i actually had it when did i order it should probably tell me here june 5th 2021 so in june i ordered this joy beauty box here and I've had it ever since. I've just never done a review on it. And I went on the website and it says it's like under construction. Found them on Instagram. It doesn't say anything. I haven't like reached out and, you know, asked like, are you guys ever going to come back? But it's essentially a full-blown lash kit. Kind of like Lashify. Gorgeous packaging. But it's different because it uses professional glue, if I'm not mistaken. So packaging itself looks a lot like Lashify. The concept is very similar to Moitier. Just from first impressions, it looks like the lashes and everything are very, very similar to like the Moitier lashes, especially their initial release. But this is the box that I got here. I think I paid like almost 80 bucks for it with a coupon code. It is gorgeous, like this gorgeous. Definitely, the quality is definitely there. It has like a bit of a magnetic clasp to it huge massive mirror and then this is the entire kit right here you have your tweezer which i'm not crazy about these tweezers these are called the peony lashes very similar to moitie i'll show you guys a close actually i'm going to show you right now they're very fluffy but a natural kind of fluffy and the band is basically the same as moitie if you've ever tried moitie it's the same thing it's like a clear transparent band very similar to some of like the flutter habit lash styles and then you have your professional lash glue here which I'm actually kind of on the fence about using. And then this remover pen right here. So you basically have everything that you need in this kit. And the idea is you just continue to purchase the lashes. And this lash glue is supposed to last a very long time. And I would not say it's very user friendly because it's usually these kind of glues, I haven't used it, but usually these kind of glues are salon professional glues and you have to be insanely careful. These were designed to be placed on top of your lashes. So again, very similar to Moitié Cosmetics. And I think I'm just gonna give them a try. Also came with the satchel of little remover tips. These guys right here to kind of help with removal. Some spoolies to brush the lashes out. I think these are like alcohol wipes. This red pin right here to poke through the lash glue initially to make sure the glue comes out. And then some extra lashes, which was really nice. Unless I don't think I ordered extra lashes, but no, I didn't. Super glam, sophisticated bougie type packaging ordeal the concept i'm just not crazy about just from initial review so we're just going to give it a try this does seem kind of like a doll-eyed lash map of sorts they are look like a gorgeous style but not one that would be very comfortable when applied underneath you can definitely hear my kids in the background they're playing they're having the time of their life i have my hot matcha here and i just thought i would review this in like a vlogmas vlog simply because they're just not available anymore so i feel bad doing like a dedicated video and you can't even buy them. This is professional lash glue, so every time I use any glue like this, huge disclaimer, I mean, you can potentially damage your lashes. I mean, there's just so many things that can go wrong when you're using professional lash glue, so you really gotta know what you're doing. And then this little pin right here, you just poke the glue, apply some right here, just like a few drops, and then take your falsy, your false lash segment here, Ooh, oh no, it has glue holding it down to the cartridge. So let me take the glue off first because that's going to kind of get in the way. And here's a close-up of the lash with the lash band. It has a clear transparent band. And then you just go ahead and kind of like dip. I'm going to be placing these on top. So I'm going to dip the bottom of the lash into the glue. Wait about five seconds before placing them onto your natural lashes. A little goes a long way. And then place the lash segment to the appropriate area on top of your lashes and then clamp them to secure it. Application wise, definitely very, very similar to Moitié. It's like you don't want to get it on your skin. Just kind of like place it on top of the lashes. Oh, the fumes. I can feel them already. OMG. I don't know what's going on, but it's not going to work. I just want the glue off of my natural lashes. Make sure to keep your eye closed. Oh my goodness, this is burning my skin. OMG. Wow. That burns. 
that burns. <laughs> oh my god, that burns. Like, as soon as it touches my skin, it burns. I don't even want to open my eye. I'm kind of scared. Ow. What is in that remover? <gasps> I haven't even opened my eye. And it burns. <laughs> I've used gel removers before. I've used, like, three different kinds. Even the one from Moitier. And nothing burned like this. I mean, as soon as it touched my skin, it burns so bad. I don't know if it's the formula or what. But wow. Let me just get my lash links glue and apply these underneath. Just apply some glue to my natural lashes. Since this is a thicker lash band, I kind of want it to hold. This is not my favorite lash band at all. But the lashes do look very pretty. My eye still kind of stings a little bit. That was not a good experience. So this is the finished lash look. They're very pretty lashes. Um, I'm just 100%, like 100% not crazy about the application at all or the lash band on these lashes, but the fibers in the style is very pretty. It's like a very pretty, super curly, fluffy doll eye. So if you if somebody can create these lashes, let me show you a close up. If someone can go ahead and create these with a thinner lash band, I would 100% love them. But the fact that they have like that thicker, wider, transparent band, making them not too comfortable to wear underneath the lash. I mean, do you see how fluffy they are? They're a gorgeous lash. And the way they crisscross, they're more dense at the base and fluffy and soft at the tops. So I do feel like they are a gorgeous lash style, but just not crazy at all about the band because every time I blink, I can kind of like feel it. And my lashes have been doing so good ever since I have only been applying glue just to the lash band and not to my natural lashes. But I feel like with lashes like these, um, that technique wouldn't hold. Like the lashes would fall off probably by the end of the day. So I had to apply some glue to my natural lashes. And they are pretty. I mean, look at this. Well, that was a fun experience. First and last time for everything. I went ahead and took out like this foam thing. And I think if you're traveling... This would be so great to travel. You just put like your applicator, everything in here and you have like a great travel case. It would make actually a very good travel case. So I can definitely see a lot of potential here, but not with that professional glue and remover. That's like a huge no, especially if you're like doing this at home. I feel like so much can go wrong. I mean, I'm used to doing lashes and I've used glues like that before and removers, but that went downhill real quick.